hello and um, welcome to another another edition or another day of uh, our canva training my name is still bernard and welcome to today's uh, session today we'll be doing a very simple flyer like this um cheesy pizza this is actually not for any any um any company and we'll be doing something simple like this and yes i think this looks very good and presentable as a simple flyer so uh we come to our canva home page and uh, we we start with a customized a customized um, size now i said when i always like to use this 48 sometimes i like to use this 48 by 48 which is actually four feet by four feet so since i've been using it for some time it is in my recent so i can just go to my recent and then click it but if maybe you don't have it in your recent you just come here and then type 48 by 48 but you need to be sure this drop down is on inches because it's pixels when you type 48 by 48 pixels is a different a totally different thing from 48 by 48 inches so we just have to be careful what you are choosing so just choose inches and then you write your 48 by 48 but i already have it here so i just click 48 by 48 and it should open for me now okay so it finished loading now we'll be using um a template we'll be customizing the template so we'll be doing something like this a simple fly actually this is actually not a template sorry i'm very sorry this is not a template this is everything from scratch we are designing and then importing or Yes, inputting everything from scratch. So we come to our work page and then we come to element and we could we could search frames in the search bar, but when you scroll down you'll find a place that where the all the frames are. So you just select all you want to see all and then you scroll down. Now we're working with this particular frame, you know, it looks like a thorn something a ton frame or a ton it will look like a ton picture so we are using this very very um very frame so you just click and then you import it so you just resize position and resize you just position and resize okay so now we have our frame imported or yes imported into our workspace so just position it and make sure everything is okay so now we come to canva we would have to put this background so just come to elements you go back to element you just go back to elements and then just type background sorry added background it's supposed to be back background so just type background and then when it, it loads you just come to the graphics and then you see all so this is the very this is a very image or this is a very background i used you could see you could see it so this is a background i use so we just click it and then insert and then you drag it over the frame and then the frame accepts so you just drop it so now we have our background set now when you come to the design we have this pizza here i actually downloaded this picture from google it is actually or i, I didn't get it in canva i imported it from google and if you've been following my tutorials i showed how to insert images from google or how to download um, how to download images from Google so here I searched for Pisa 
Pizza PNG. So I go to my images and everything loads. Now, um, I think the other day I was all in almost all my tutorials. I, I tried to show you which particular or how to download which particular image. Now, this very one, you know, this particular pizza I'm using has no background. It's just a pizza alone. Now, when you see PNG, PNG means it has no background or the image has no background to it. It's just the image there is. So, let's, you see, there's a trick. When you see this pattern behind the image in the thumbnail meaning it's not a png but for some of them that you don't see any any um any background or any um, pattern like this behind them then means there's a chance that is a png so when i click this when it finishes loading the background should change this one the background didn't change so i don't think it's a png so we'll just look for another one let me try this when you finish loading i think the background didn't change i just want i want the one that the background can change or yes so you see when i clicked on this when you finish loading the background changed to the patterns so meaning this png just just the just the pizza so i just imported paste and you see it came just the pizza came so now um there's this thing or for what we are using that is a frame anytime you hover a, a, an image over it it's it tries to accept the picture or it tries to take in that particular image you are moving about into the frame so when you don't want that to happen you just hold down your control and then you move your image around so let me just resize I think I'll maintain it. I'll maintain it like this. I'll leave it like this. It's not, it's not the same image, but I'm just using a different image for us to, you know, see how to get those images. Let me just maintain this particular image. Let me just maintain it. I'll just work with it. Okay, so now we have our image inserted so now we insert all these things so this 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 element you see they are they are onions and then this uh, basil and this pepper i don't know why i put it here but let's just leave it like that so it's, it's chili actually so we just come and then to store with the elements we just do tomatoes and a lot to come so just scroll down this is the very one i used so we just click this and then just resize so again it's an image so the frame is actually trying to accept it you just hold down your control so you can be able to move it about and then position it you know however you'd want so now since if i i, I would want, well, I'd want to maintain it here so just come to transparency and then reduce the transparency a bit i think that's okay and then come to edit photos so i think for this the transparency i think i'm okay with the transparency i can leave it like that just for you know um just to look nice so i just come to edit photos and then come to blur now i'll blur it out a bit i'll blur it out a bit i think that's okay so let me just let me let me forget about the transparency and then rather focus on the blurriness so you could see it's a little blur you see it's a little blur again i think there's too much okay let me maintain like this and then resize it back so now position it again where i want duplicate 
and then position it anywhere else I want so just let me just flip it so that it will look different from this and then also still duplicate again and maybe you know straighten it a bit and all this is actually supposed to be you know adding up to the design you know making the design look presentable and 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 all that so we we are coming to do this this is very this is very easy it's it's just a trick i used so i come to text and uh, i insert a text so let me try and then select a text here um okay let me use this this is actually what i used so let me click it and then it comes so i would i would want to delete this the last line and maintain cheesy pizza so just write cheesy cheesy that's all now i can decide to increase the font to any font i want so let me just increase it to 200 let me just leave it at 200 now there's a trick i used let me just duplicate it for the other one so let me just put this here and then come here so now when you come to effect and you scroll down you'd see curve so you click on the curve and then it gives you how curve how curvy you would want it to be or how round you would want it to go so let me just choose something 40 negative 40 actually let me just choose something negative 40 yes there's negative 40 so now it is it is curved to the top then I position it and let me increase the font size still to let me see if 250 I think 250 is okay so this negative negative 40 that is curved to the top so I bring this let me still increase it to 20 250 250 exactly so now I come to the effect still and then come to the curves and then take this the opposite direction sorry take this to the opposite direction so I think okay let me just type it 40 so you see this is taking the other direction and then this is also taking the downwards direction. So this is taking the topwards direction. This is taking the downwards direction. So when you bring it, it creates, you know, that kind of wavy, wavy effect. So I think, let me just position it. I think I have enough space to increase the font size to 300. And let me still increase this to 300. Let me just type it 300. So position and then bring this thing let me okay I think this is a cool exactly this is cool so now we proceed you see this this hat thing I intentionally put it you know oh sorry I was supposed to type pizza So this comes here. Still position it a bit. I think that's good. Now still come to element and then do something like a chef 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 hat, yes. So this is what I used. So you can play around with anything just to put a dot 
you know be creative with the dots on the eye so let's let's try this and they just change the color to white this the the cheesy pizza's color is is actually not plain white it's actually not plain white but let's let's position this first and then see if we can play around so i zoom in and then tilt it a bit still reduce the size zoom in a bit just playing around with elements so i think this this is cool and let's try to see if we can get this color so using the color picker I think that's close enough so you know it creates the dots on the eye now we keep inserting so this this is not this is not a logo it's just something I inserted just to represent the logo so we can ignore this but in previous tutorials you know I showed that if you want to you just insert the logo you just insert the logo and you come to uploads and then you upload the logo here so you upload the logo here and then you click on it and then it comes and then you position it wherever you want but i would i would not want to use any logo here this is just a logo i used this is just something like so let me just copy it let me just copy it and then paste it here oh sorry i did something which i don't know what i did and again in previous tutorial I, I tell you i told you that sorry i told you that anytime you do something that you think you are not sure for or you don't know what you actually did you just does your best friend just undo and then it goes back to how it was so i was supposed to do paste and then the paste so you just position it and then this basil so let me just insert the basil basil leaf let me just do basil and see yes this is what I used so just position it resize and position hits control and position undo and then duplicate hold down the control and then position again so now let me just i'd want to blur it out a bit to create you know some nice effect so i used 58 for this let me copy that and then come here and still blur it out with this, with the number I used and then they are blurred out evenly so yeah we are getting somewhere so now I, I, I wrote this Monday cheesy vibes so let's insert that come to text and then we look for let's scroll up and then start from the top so keep scrolling i use this there's a there's a text i used so let me position that and let me ungroup and then delete one so I'll just maintain one and then use one. So change the color to white, the text color to white. And it's it's glowing, it's glowing too much and it might, or it is actually making reading difficult. 
so just turn off the glowing here just turn it off to none so the effect no effect style so then, then I type Monday 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 cheesy vibe cheesy vibes I think it should be vibes okay so my font I need to reduce my font I can do that here or I can do it with this so I think well, let me just increase it and then insert insert a, a circle just to just behind it to create some you know some some round effect behind this test so take it up and come to colors and then choose no color so when you choose no color then come next to this border style and click on the border and then choose this so it creates a border line the circle for the circle you just increase the border width a bit however you you think it's okay and then for the color I chose green because there's green you know there's green the basil on the pizza and all so I just choose green we're getting somewhere there's actually onions so let me just choose onions search for onions see all And then look for something that works this is actually what i used and yes i'm using canva free this is pro but i keep saying that there are some elements that if they would be in the background there would be some details in the background you can use you can use the pro ones and then just reduce the transparency or like i showed you just blur it out so it will not be too visible that you you've used something like it. but unfortunately too with with watermarked elements or with a uh, pro elements you can't actually blur them out so you just reduce the transparency but i think i'm okay because i've reduced it so small that it's it will be difficult to actually notice the watermark of canva so we just come and then we'll create this we create this location i live in ghana so i use some cities in ghana and again this this is not for anybody so i just used some numbers so let's come and then start and then we'll come here and then do uh something like pizza pizza background yes this is what i used pizza background and then look for something that you know you're okay with um let's try this i actually use this but again let's try something different because there's green there's green there's green here so we can play around with something green take it to the back reduce the transparency and then duplicate take it to the back duplicate and then take it to the back so you know create some background let me select and group them and then okay so now we can create the call or we can create sorry we can create a location so we just insert the text and then just type location okay and then and then type this kumasi 
Accra Kumasi and Tema. So let me just type, insert another text box position. And let me just reduce this for the meantime. No, I think. Okay, let me just maintain this. So Accra and then give some spaces and then Kumasi. Kumasi. Give some space and then Tema. So let me position this. Position, duplicate this, and then put it right under it. I decided not to write it in the same text box so that I can have the freedom to work with or do the changes I would want to do with this, the other text box. Because if it is in the same text box, sometimes, you know, applying some changes affects everything in that particular text box. So I just want to have freedom to work around. So we just put some random numbers. Let me just put some random numbers. One, one, one. Space. Space. Oh, sorry. Space. Oh, sorry. I was actually pressing something else. Okay. Just some random numbers. And then position, I think, let me add, let me add some few numbers. And then reduce. So now I need to space this out. Just a little. And then space this out just a little. So now there's there's even space in between them. So I use red for the cities and then yellow for the number and then the location. So yellow pick any of the yellow suggestions and then yellow also for this. And for this I choose red. And then now, this is what I did. I I selected this location and then effects and then just put a background behind it. But the background, I chose white. And then now I came to elements. Came to elements and then inserted this element. Position it. And then make sure it's positioned well. But you see how it is cutting the location into half. That's exactly where I want it. Leave it. And then come to the color. And choose no color. And come to the border. And then give it a border. A little thickness. And then give it a... Sorry, this is, this is still with the color. So just choose color. And then come to the border color rather. And then choose yellow for it. And we are good. Just position this. And we are good. So, bolden this. And we are good. Now, I, I did this 25% 25, 25 discount. So, we still insert a text. We still insert a text. Let's still insert this. And then bring it over positioning. So let me just delete this and then write 25, 25% discount. Discount. 25% discount. Okay, just 25% discount. And then duplicate. No, I didn't duplicate. I just inserted a blank or a new um, 
a new text box so you just bring it down and then reduce the the font size and then position it under and then make sure they are aligned I think there's a line and then write and write every every first Monday let me just copy the text paste so still reduce the font size to be almost the same as the the one on top and we've done something simple just let me increase this a bit and it's aligned bring it to the left a bit here and then position this increase the text box because if i don't increase the text box it will it will break to the next line if it fills the text box if the font the font size fills the text box it will automatically break to the exactly like this so i have to increase the font sorry the text box so that it doesn't break to the next line so it's just make sure everything is aligned and change this color to something yellow turn off and we have a very simple a very simple flyer so now i insert i come to element and then i insert i look for an element called smoke so i've already searched for it is but you just type smoke and then when it loads you insert what's what's what you think works so let me just go to all and then look for something i think this will work so it's just to create you know that kind of um steam or you know just to show that the pizza is hot so take it to the back and then bring it forward so that i know it is at the back it is not interfering with my fonts in in front so just reduce the transparency just a bit and I think we've created something simple something simple we didn't use the same pizza but you get the whole point something simple so let's create or let's add a shadow Sometimes you just have to try, keep trying until you get something that works. Or play around. And we have a simple looking flyer. A simple looking flyer. We designed it from scratch. Sorry, I think my my browser my browser is misbehaving. Sorry about that. But you know, simple like that, and this looks nice. Very simple. Very simple. So, you just try as much as possible to, you know, understand how some of the elements works or how some of the things works. Especially, I, I normally like using elements a lot. So, you just understand how those elements works and also how to, you know, um, format your, your inputs. So, like the way we formatted this text box, format your input to look away you know to to make your design look 
you know unique in a way or to look special in a way and then and also i keep saying you know um for some time now mostly the designs i spend much time on are the ones that are even rejected and the ones i spend less time on and then make it simple they are the ones that mostly sometimes the the clients will choose so always going for simple designs straight to the point again with our 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 concept about designing so clear and concise message no beating about the bush you choose your colors and make sure you don't have too many colors and you make sure your font styles too are not too many everything is aligned and you're good to go this is a very simple flyer we just did and you know we inserted basic and simple things nothing too big we insert our text box we insert our image we set our elements and this is supposed to be our logo we insert our logo we put our contact information here and you know sometimes you just play around with arrangements you just try and then put something somewhere and you look at it if you're okay you just leave it if not and sometimes you you create multiple multiple designs and then you 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 insert different things or you try different styles in different so you see like this very design if i'm not too sure of something i just come to this place duplicate page click on duplicate page and now i get two of it so then now i can do maybe what i'm thinking or the idea i'm getting and still keep this which i think it's my final work but i would also want to try be trying other things to see if something will work if it works then i keep this if it doesn't work i just delete and then go back to my original design so like i, I keep saying this keep trying you know colors keep trying um font styles keep trying elements what will work and what will not work and hopefully you should you know know or you should learn because you know sometimes if you don't make mistakes you know to learn that okay this doesn't work that works this color doesn't work with this and that, that doesn't work with that so basically so thank you again Ed, for joining me on today's uh, designing journey and my name still remains bernard and hope to see you in my next video have a nice day bye bye